Okay, let me get through this real quick. Uh, I did this earlier, but it stopped on me again. I don't know what's up. All right. Ah, oh, so I'm spazzing, trying to get a gazillion things done. Um, another trivet. It's metal. It's a rooster. I paid a dollar for it. I, you know I like my trivets. Fire King. I like Fire King about as much as I like Pyrex. Pyrex just has a much bigger selection and patterns. This is the one with the um, fruit, like a small little casserole, or this would be good to make like a fruit pizza, um, a small fruit pizza or something. And I paid two dollars for that. Here are, it's a set of four, but not really a set. They're kind of a little bit different, but um, similar, but different. Um, these are like those molds that you display. I guess you could use them, but most people display them as art in their kitchen. I paid a dollar, I believe, for this particular one. Um, most of them, I believe, are in pretty good shape. I paid one for that. I paid $1.50 for this one. Um, they all have a wire or something you can hang them up on the wall. I'm, I'm checking for like little chips. I thought I saw something on one of them. But not sure. I'm not seeing it now. This one is round. And most of them, I have four, they're green. This one is trimmed in kind of a gold, um, golden color. Um, but most of them are green, okay? This one is vegetables, this one is fruit. Uh, the other one similar to this is fruit. And then this little one is um, the only thing marked on the back it says ABC and made in Italy um, I paid like I said a dollar fifty for the one one a dollar and a dollar and this I paid about uh, 40 cents it's got a little signature that's strawberries okay all right and I've got this I'm going through real quick because I think I only have 15 minutes um, this is a little um, Halloween tin, and I paid 50 cents for it, and what is so cute is it has all these magnets inside. Um, two, uh, let's see here, three, four, five, got a witch, six, seven, eight, nine, nine or nine, ten, eleven, not sure. And now a witch, trick-or-treat bag, rest in peace, a um, bunch of little magnets and a tin. Fun thing for little kids to play with, or big kids like me. Um, but I thought that was cute. Like I said, I only paid like 50 cents for it. I might hang on and do these holiday things like Christmas stuff at Christmas, Halloween at Halloween. Because I don't know how well they would sell right now. Um, especially because I don't have a huge following at this time. Uh, this is a really nice casserole dish. Not quite a uh, uh, 9 by 13, a little bit smaller than that, but I believe it's definitely vintage and older. I paid $4 for it. It's Chinese Garden by Shafford, and um, it says it's porcelain. Nice bird, dogwood, cherry, uh, tiger lilies really really cute design I thought that was really nice okay so I'm gonna pull things out of the box here I believe someone made this little vase this is probably a little five inch vase six inch maybe five I, I'm guessing four or five um, I paid a dollar for it it's got a little bit of crazing down here that you can really see and then lighter up through this way so it's been in water or someone's washed it down it, it's um, yellow roses, okay? Um, I don't know. Someone maybe did not 
make this, but I'm going to guess that this is either U.S. made ceramic. I'm guessing it's a uh, U.S. pottery piece, ceramic piece. Okay, my guess. Uh, here's a nice little vase also. Uh, did I say I paid? Yeah, a dollar for that. I paid 50 cents for this. It's got bees, butterflies, grasshoppers, ladybugs. Um, nice small little vase that I paid 50 cents for. The sticker is missing. My guess is it would say made in Japan or Japan. And um, I believe it is porcelain um, or some type of maybe bone china. Nice piece of pottery. I really like this. This was made in Indiana. I believe the date on it is 2004. I'm guessing that the numbers on here mean the date because it says 20, then Indiana, then 04. Um, this is from Straw Town Pottery, made in Indiana. Really nice blue and greens and the beiges with the ruffle around the top. Nice little pot that I paid a dollar for. I have an attraction to crate and barrel things. Cute little fish, piece of pottery, trinket dish, whatever you want to use it for. Um, it is made in Italy. I paid a dollar for it. Um, here's the other vase I was talking about a few videos back. Um, I have the other one that's very similar to this. They're kind of a match, but not identical. The other one has yellow where it's pink here and where the flowers are pink, um, it is yellow. This does have a yellow butterfly, but on the other one, um, the highlight, the main color is yellow. Uh, I paid 40 cents for this, 40 or 50 cents. Someone did make this. It doesn't give a mold number, but I think they did an excellent job. This would be really cute hanging, a really nice hanging with some decorative pieces on the wall, some art, some photos. Um, the name Virginia is on the back, so whoever made it, their name must have been Virginia. I'm going to say this is definitely vintage, not something recent, and I paid $1.50 for it. This I have no clue. <laughs> I just got it. I think this is something that maybe a pharmacist use, uses. I don't know. I got it because it's going to make it easier for me to water some of my plants, smaller plants. Um, I paid 40 cents for this. This will not be going on eBay or Etsy. And you know how I like my trivets. And yesterday I was calling that uh, Pueblo art from New Mexico. I was calling it uh, a trinket. And I meant trivet. So just know when I use the wrong word that... I'm making a mistake, and yes, I should know the difference, but not always. Um, this is a nice piece of, I'm going to say porcelain. Um, it's a little rougher on the back. There is some kind of mark, mark signature, but I can't really say what it is. I'm going to say this is Asian for sure, probably made in Japan, and it is a trivet or hot plate and um, it's smooth and glazed here and a little bit more rough textured not rough but textured on the back I paid one dollar for this and I got this piece, oops, piece of Fitz and Floyd um, I paid 50 cents for this guy marching trum trumpeter um and i have a piece of vintage fitz and floyd from i think 89 it's a candle holder i like the way or no it's 87. it has a small little chip out of the base but you can't really tell so i don't think it's that big of a deal but i did want to point it out i think this is very pretty and i like the way they tried to make it look extremely vintage and old at the time but this is an old piece of Fitz and Floyd FF 1987. I think that's a very nice piece. I'm not sure why I bought this. I was just drawn to this. It's almost like a child's mug, Stein, kind of. Well, Stein has a top, but um, kind of a crock type 
mug. It does have the number 10 on the bottom. I don't really know much about it. I would have to, you know, I'm going to have to do some research on a lot of this before I list it. Um, I paid a dollar for this. I would say it probably holds somewhere between, uh, let's just say 8 to 12 ounces. It's not, it's not really, really a big one at all. Uh, okay. Uh, I thought this was really a nice piece of ceramic. I don't think it's vintage, however. I think it's probably more recent. Um, no sticker, nothing on the back. I paid $1.50 for that. And when I first saw this, I thought, and unwrapped it, I thought, I didn't buy that. Because I saw this part, and I'm like, what is that? It's an ashtray. But then when I saw the back, I was like, oh yeah, now I remember. Um, signature Anthony, copyright California, USA. I don't know if this is California pottery or if this is a mold and someone made it. I think it's kind of funny that someone, there's also MM together and then the number 55 and there's a number before that but they they've got it covered up with those felt those pieces of felt three pieces of felt although this feels very smooth i would not have thought that it would scratch anybody's table but it is an ashtray i paid a dollar for it um it has the most minute little chip it, I know you can't see it because I missed it originally right there, but you really can't see it. I don't think it's really going to affect the value much. I thought it was a unique piece of pottery and it is an ashtray. So um, I think my mom goes shopping with me in spirit. She passed in January and she loved thrift stores. And so I get it honestly. <laughs> and... Um, I never used to buy ashtrays, and she used to collect ashtrays for years because she's like, these will be collectible someday. People won't be smoking forever, you know, and I, she ended up selling all her ashtrays, but at a garage sale, I believe, but sometimes I think she's whispering in my ear, buy that. Um, here's a piece of actually Avon porcelain, I believe. It says Valentine's Day 1982. Ooh, don't wanna break that. And it, on the outside it says a sweet remembrance and a token of love. So, you know, this would be something if people like, someone liked, like I do, collecting. Made in Japan, 1982. So this was made for Avon. I paid 50 cents for it, definitely vintage. A cute little trinket dish um, so I just thought that was cute nice little piece of it doesn't say porcelain so I'll say ceramic um, or China to me it's like China okay I've got two candle holders here that are also I keep thinking these are Avon they're not I think I have others that were Avon this is Mikasa and it's pattern G9059. It just says Japan on the back. It's green with green flowers. They're both very dirty and need cleaned. But I paid 50 cents for each one, so a dollar for the pair. I thought that was a nice little deal for those, and they were cute. And then here's a festive Christmas Demitas cup or hot cocoa cup, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's Kashima or Kashima, I'm not sure, Kashima I assume, Japan, and it says joy, you know, it's Christmassy, joy, and then there's a little saying on it, and I don't remember, the price isn't on here, but I think I paid like a dollar for this, might have even got it for 50 cents. All right, so that's all out of there, am I missing anything? Um, I did get this bowl, uh, also at that huge hall where I got all this other stuff where I was in there for over six hours. Um, it does have a signature on the back. I'm going to guess that this was made either in Italy or Portugal, but a cute little snack. It looks like popcorn, candy, pretzels. It's not like vintage, I don't believe, but it is very cute, I thought. I paid 40 cents for that. 
And that pretty much, well, let me go ahead and wrap this up, okay? This didn't come from that big haul. This came from a Goodwill uh, a couple weekends ago, I think. Um, I thought this was a 